Blade Writers. From the land of the Butterfly people, we present to you this colorful wedding. Samoki words Nicholas in a colorful modern traditional Samoan wedding. Culture is beautiful and traditions too, but humans are dynamic. The blend of the African and the Western proves a worthwhile celebration. The first day of this celebration begins in the evening. Previously, the bride is prepared for this big day. Bruce shaving her hair ahead is smeared with red ochre. Likewise, the bridegroom is also ready for this big day. In the wedding costume, the bridegroom and the best man are also given new shoes made from hide that they would be putting on during the occasion. Shedding of hair in Samburu culture symbolizes shedding of the past for a new beginning. In Samburu tradition, a typical wedding takes three days, and this is one of the many rites of passage in this land. While presenting the first part of the dowry, they also carry tobacco, as it has been in the olden days. But today, sugar is also carried because someone needs to take a cup of tea. This marriage song is emotional per se, or in this context, just as circumcision songs. After presenting themselves in the bride's home, entertainment continues with the singing of traditional songs till late in the night. Later, everyone retires to bed as they await for the main day.
whilst singing quite emotional wedding songs. The warriors with the bridegroom and the bridesmen come to the bride's home, prodding some cows and sheep for the event. During the performance of this wedding song, the participants are absolutely attached to it, as evidenced by the uncontrolled ecstasy from some of them. On the second day, at the entrance of the homestead, the bridegroom and the best man remove the high shoes that they were putting on since yesterday. These shoes won't be put on till the third day. And you may be wondering what is happening with him. He is not actually fighting, but he is experiencing the ecstasy that I told you. At the entrance, you have noted a ship being held that would be taken into the Manyata and it would be there till tomorrow. Reason. A sheep is a very important animal in symbol marriage that is going to create the bond between two families. Warriors lead a bull in front of the manata. Slaughtering of the bull officiates the marriage and makes it legit or valid. As per the traditions of Saburu, the most important part is now done. Now, the next thing is the modern reception. The bride and the bridegroom would prepare for that. Some pieces of meat are held by the bridegroom and the best man. This will be taken into the manyata, and the recipients are women in the manyata. An expert is required here to avoid any mishap. Samburu people are also called butterfly people because of their flamboyance, their colorful dressing, and the way they dance too. Wake up, shake it, 
This beat for music from the contemporary artists is partly traditional and partly modern. This makes it unique. During the reception, the modern music continues. Artists would sing, guest artists and host artists would sing and the dancers who dance, each person who dance their best. It's also said that some other person will look for their wife here. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
of dancing now the next thing is cutting the cake at times there are rings and even exchanging of vows For the modern or the western weddings, this is the apex of the event where a couple exchange vows, put on each other a ring and bond forever. Oh, my God. 
After that is done, the next is receiving blessing from parents from both sides. Here comes the time for speeches, for talks. A person would want to say something to the newly married couple. It is the time to do so. The couple would receive presents from friends and family members. After everyone has taken meal, the next is a photo session. We would want to remember what has happened during our day, during our beautiful day. Later in the evening of the second day, they will sing the traditional songs again. This marks the end of the main day, the second day of sleep. The following day, we are to take the ride to our new home. In the that day, the bride is prepared to leave for her new home. She puts on a new garment of skin smeared with red ochre. She is also given two girls, one on her back and one that she is going to carry. Nanya 
And the journey home begins. They would squat in front of the men, the old men, been blessing them. The bride is given some milk by the best man. Then they wake up and walk slowly. This exit is a mixture of happiness and sadness in a way. The bride is leaving. As anyone would, should be wondering about what is ahead of her. She would also miss her family now that she's leaving for good. But perhaps someday she would pay them a visit. After a long journey of nearly 300 kilometers, the bride and the bridegroom arrive in their new home. Thanks to the introduction of machines, this will have taken a number of days. The bridegroom, the best man, and the bride will walk majestically and enter into one of the manatas. Here again, the bride will be given some milk. And the bridegroom's home celebration continues. Warriors continue singing in the background that is Mount Miro, one of the highest mountains. 
Marshallis in Samuel County in Kenya that is 2,752 meters above the sea level. The morning of the fourth day, the bride is presented with her property, that is, her animals. So, the husband, the best man, and other family members would witness the presentation where she is given a number of animals, cows, goats, and even camels. The animals that she is given are painted with the red ochre and they are going to be marked on the right side. That definitely means luck that good things will be coming on her way. I'm 
Later in the day, women are going to help Samoki to build a house, a manata, for herself. Temporary manata referred to as a white house that is going to be demolished in a few days. Palgle Brighters wishes Samoki and Nicholas the very best in their life, prosperity, and abundance of blessings.